my door Blue whale Come on now, give me some more I see the people who stare at the sky And wish one day that you walk by Oh, blue whale Our new staff, we're also going to look at the new foreign exchange students, get to know them. Then we will take a look at Victoria Pacheco and the cross country team to see how they're doing this year. Hi, my name is Mike Ruark, and uh, I'm a new teacher here at Canfield High School. I teach creative writing, college writing, and the College Credit Plus or Honors English 11. And next semester, I'm teaching one CCP American Lit class. Um, I've wanted to be a teacher for as long as I can remember. Uh, my mom is a teacher, my grandmother is a teacher. Um, so that kind of has been part of my family life growing up. There was always something going on at school or in the community. Um, I love reading books and I've always loved reading books. So that's been a big part of my life. Um, and I find inspiration in like, inspiring other people to read. Um, it's my favorite part of the job. Teaching can be like a grind sometimes, um, but if you can find one kid and like inspire that kid that day, it makes it worth it. It's highly rewarding. Um, other people go to work all day and sit at a desk and grind out like a project report or do something like that. Um, but teachers, you get to see positive change every day. You get to see like why you're working every day. So that's kind of why I like doing it. So I also have a special talent that not very many people know about. It's from when I was little. Um, I would always kind of like suck my thumb and play with my ears. So I didn't really develop like a lot of cartilage in my ears. So I can tuck my ear inside of my head and it will stay there for a while. So it's kind of a crazy talent, not many people know about it, but uh, I'll share it with you guys. And one more time, here you go, ready? Take it, fold it, tuck it, bam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm Paige, I teach English here at Canfield. Um, I got into teaching because I love kids and I love books, so I have a job where I can talk to kids every day about books, and that's the best ever. No matter where I've been teaching, I always like the students the best, and they make my day so much better, sometimes worse, but mostly better. Um, and an interesting fact about me is that I've lived a book. Oh. Yeah. And I've been to 15 different countries, and yeah, I like to try. My name is Mr. Slavin. I teach chemistry and physical science here at the high school. Uh, this is my first year here. I moved after 16 years at Mahoney County Career and Technical Center. Um, I'm excited to be working with the Canfield students and to have an opportunity to teach chemistry here. Um, I was inspired to go into teaching while I was in graduate school. Um, I was studying for a PhD in biology, and part of my assignment was to teach college classes. And at that time, I fell in love with the teaching part of it and not so much the research part, so I went back and got my teaching certificate. Uh, an interesting fact about me, I've been to all 50 states. Um, I think I've hit just about every national park, so I like to travel a lot in my free time. Hello, my name is Ryan Tomiski, and I am the next world's amazing magician. All right, Allie, my wonderful assistant, please, please select a card. Any card, sure. All right, that one? Yeah. All right. Three parts. Three parts. If you could, please. Hold up to the camera. Put a smiley face on that. Alright, that's pretty good. Alright, so you know it's real. You got the smiley face right here, okay? 
I'm gonna put it back in the deck, you know, shuffle the deck up. Shuffle it up. Yeah. Alright, you know. <laughs> Alright. Put it back in the deck. This is where the magic comes in. Ready? <laughs> Check it, Pop. No. These are the uh, Air Jordan 1s in the royal blue colorway. Uh, these were originally released in 1985. This is Michael Jordan's first shoe silhouette. Um, I think there's about 15 different colors of these. It's probably my second favorite. My first one would be just the same black, but it's just red instead. As far as you know, Jordan's go, this is probably one of my favorites. I mean, it's just a classic. This is basically the shoe that started, you know, the whole thing. When this came out, it was really uncommon because Michael Jordan being from the Bulls, you know, you would think his first one was a red and black shoe, but this being a blue shoe and him playing for the Bulls, it created a lot of controversy even within the league and you would go to see when uh, later on in his career, he actually started getting fined for wearing some of the shoes he wore because the colors didn't uh, match the NBA's regulations. It was like fresh in the air, I want to say, and I just started, went online and just found some cool shoes and like I really got into it and like just it's really fascinating just like you know how important the shoes are to like we don't think about it but it's a whole culture like set within itself and it's I mean to me like that's the first thing I look at a person when I see them I'll, I'll look at their shoes if it's a guy and just I mean people base like a lot especially like people that are into shoes like we base what we think of someone based on like what kind of shoes they're wearing which is kind of superficial but within like the sneaker community it's like a status symbol. Hi, my name is Tori and I'm a Cape Up cross country runner. Um, I've been running for six years now. Started running cross country in seventh grade. Runner's high is when you are running a certain amount of mileage, say four or five, maybe six, and you just feel amazing afterwards and you just feel like you could go more and more miles and be unstoppable. I was inspired to run by uh, my sister who started out running in seventh grade and then uh, from there once I started I was in love with it. I uh, fell in love with the people and I fell in love just with the sport. And, yeah. Hi I'm Tirza and I can make a really good turkey noise. Single wins or not. That's too long in the back. <laughs> yeah, I'm Pontus Jatien from Sweden, Stockholm. I got here from Sweden because I had some my friends in Sweden who has been here and like it was so fun to meet new friends, make a new family, and it was like the best experience of their lives. Yeah, and uh, interesting about me uh, is like I played hockey for in my entire life since I was five years old, and I played in uh, I played in I went to Netherlands and play. I played in Gothenburg, it was like Sweden's next biggest city. I like I like the physical contact, like checking people and, and like I, I like playing rough yeah my uh, family here in the US is they are they're kind and they're, <laughs> I would be happy they like chose me uh, I was homesick for uh, a bit before but uh, it's like in the morning sometimes but then I just go to school and then it well passes away it's not such a big difference from Sweden it's like the class is not a big difference but uh, well, it's kind of, it, I heard it's more easier, but I don't really know. I, I haven't gotten any grade yet, so. The biggest difference is like that Americans are more open. Like, I've noticed when I've been to a restaurant, like they, the customers, they ask the other one, the like those who made it for how their day has been. Like in Sweden, everyone's, they're not even watching everyone in the eye. They're like just keeping their own stuff together. They're like tunnel vision. My name is Alfredo. I'm from Spain. 
I'm 16 years old and I am an, an exchange student. Uh, the high school is totally different from Spain and here. Uh, we, for example, if we, if one teacher see to to us a mobile, they catch they catch it and they didn't they didn't give to you for one week or something like that. Hey, I'm going to stay here one year. Hey, I'm from Alicante. It's a big city of Spain. Well, not too much, but it's normal. normal. Um, I have the beach uh, at five minutes of my house, and it's very beautiful. <laughs> uh, well, I never see the snow. I I think that I'm going to have very cold here. Uh, yeah. It is very good campfield. <laughs> right now, I'm freestyling for the Campfield News. Stay in school, guys. Don't get drunk. Don't drink no booze. So you think you can dance? Can I worm? You can worm. Jeez! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Taste Testing with Tom and Rachel. Every episode we're going to try a different food and tell you guys about it. Today we're trying a yum box from Colombia. Alright, our first uh, snack that we're going to try today is called Yellow Marbles. It, it says it's che a cheese snack. They're like, they look like, uh, like cheese Cheetos? balls. Cheetos? Like Cheeto yeah, balls? Something. Kind of dry. And, uh, not that good. They're not, not very satisfying. good. They're not satisfying. They're Our next food we're gonna try is called tocinenta. Pieces. It looks like pieces of bacon, and it says it has like lime on it. So I'm not sure. Looks like dog treats to me. <laughs> Whoa. That's pretty good. It has the consistency of like a Cheeto, but it's like. It's got like a hint of, hint of li like lime. It's, it's like a got flavor like a sour. blast. Yeah. It's really good. Next thing we're gonna try is a casty pan. It has, it's, it's kind of like spongy. You think they pronounce it casty pan in Colombia? <laughs> casty pan. <laughs> that kind of looks like bacon too. It's, here, do you wanna <laughs> take the first bite? Sure. I don't even know, mm. Kind of tastes like licorice in the middle. Weird. It, it. There's nothing to compare it to. It is just a consistency that I've never encountered in my life. Next thing we're gonna try is called super cocoa. It's this little green thing. It kind of looks like it. Kind of feels like a Jolly Rancher. It says it has mucho coco. A lot of coco. Oh, okay, it's kind of like it's like some sort of caramel around it. And, really hard. It smells like, I don't know, something. It's hard. It's really gross. No. Mm? No, it's gross. It's coconut. Not, not chocolate, coconut. It sticks to your teeth. Yeah, my dog wouldn't eat this. <laughs> There's Thank also you. some jet wafers. Probably like those wafers that we get at Giant Eagle, like the pink ones. I'm sure they're like that. Um, Super Coco still stuck in my teeth. <laughs> These are it's called Nuffy. It's got like a picture of like Alvin the Chipmunk on it. It's like a, some sort of spread. It says it's got milk, chocolate, and uh, hazelnut flavor. So I don't know. <laughs> These are sweet plantain chips. It's called Murderitos. So Tom, wh which one was your favorite that we tried? I'm gonna have to say this. Me too. The dog food. The, it looks like the dog bacon. food. <laughs> I mean, it does. It has. A, it looks like a bacon strip. The bacon. <laughs> it's bacon. <laughs> this box is five dollars a month, and even though they might not taste good, it's a really cool experience to try something from a different country for only five bucks. And it's a lot of assorted, dif a lot of different things <laughs> that you it, could try. It's a different country every month too. You get something from a different part of the world. It's very. It's 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 a good way to see other cultures and what they see as like good yeah, good food. <laughs> I'm gonna try bacon. That. That's weird. That's the that <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. 
That was, that's gross. All right. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to finish it, though. We hope you enjoyed the show. If you missed anything, you can see it on campforcardinal.com. Have a great year. Have fun at home coming next year. Thanks. Blame